What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun on the Regulation E rank ladder using a Technician Breloom team that also features Life Orb, King Gambit, and Salamence. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is getting started in that top left hand corner. It's going to be Breloom. And Breloom is an all time favorite of mine. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially with Technician and Bullet Seed Mach Punch combo. Makes Duke some crazy damage to both stab moves, and you can really hit hard from there. This Pokemon also has the Focus Ash, and its other two moves are Protect and Spore. Another Spore user, we're not using Amoongus, we're going to be using Spore a little bit in today's video, but we're not going to overdo it, considering I know I can get annoyed at Spore, so I don't want to be that person that just annoys an opponent with Spore. In our second slot, we got Fluttermane over here with Protosynthesis and a Booster Energy as its item. It's got Moonblast, Shadow Ball for two heavy hitting stab moves, it's also Rocket Icy Wind for a bit of speed control on this team, and last but not least, it has Protect. In our third slot, we got King Gambit with Defiant and a Life Orb to make it do some crazy big time damage. It's got Sucker Punch, Assurance, Iron Head, and Protect. Fourth slot, we got Cornerstone Ogre Pond with Sturdy as its ability. Cornerstone Ogre Pond, probably one of the least used Ogre Pond forms, but still very, very cool and very solid all around as it's a nice big time rock type to do some damage on those flying type Pokemon. It's got Ivy Cudgel alongside with Horn Leech, Knock Off, and Spiky Shield. In our fifth slot, we got our speed control Pokemon, that is going to be Salamence, with Intimidate and a Clear Amulet as its item. It's got Tailwind, it's got Dual Wing Beat for Stab, it's got Iron Head with that Steel Terror type, and last but not least, it has Protect. In our final slot is going to be our Wild Card Pokemon, and that is going to be Slow Bro. What I mean by Wild Card Pokemon is it's really only going to be coming in, into the battle in certain situations. It's kind of here just to like counter Trick Room, and kind of get after it that way. It's got Oblivious and a Citrus Berry, and then Psy Shock, Scald, Trick Room, and Yawn. Guys, you want to rent the seat for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Breedloom, Life Orb King Gambit, and Salamence ranked team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty standard team with a lot of regulation E uh, meta Pokemon. They got Fluttermane, they're also rocking out with Tornadus, Gyarados, probably more on the sports side with Intimidate, then they got Sinistra for some healing, and then Chiyu and Iron Hands. How should we play this one? Who should we lead? Salamence is not a bad lead, we can Intimidate plus get some speed control at the same time. So I actually really like Salamence here. I mean, the only thing I would be scared of is the Chiyu and Fluttermane lead, because obviously Chiyu can counter the Steel Terror type and Fluttermane can counter if we don't Terror type. So I'm still going to go Salamence there, I really do like it. I could go Breloom as a lead. I could definitely uh, bring Breloom as lead, and I might do that, or I could go King Gambit, just in case they want to intimidate us. Hmm. Actually, I might just leave Fluttermane. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go Fluttermane, I'm going to go Breloom, and last but not least, I am going to rock King Gambit in the back end. Or do I not bring Breloom and go Cornerstone over? That could be pretty good. That definitely could be pretty good. I like having the rock move and the grass as well, it's really not that bad. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go Ogre Pond here instead of Breloom. Breloom, we'll bring you in in the next match or even in the third match. Time to rock out with Ogre Pond. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Nothing's better than starting off a video with W. It just makes the rest of the video so simple, so chill, so relaxed. You don't got to worry about winning a match. You just kill it and knock it out in the first battle. So that's what we're hoping to actually do in this battle right here. Let's see who the lead because we are intimidating turn one, which would not be bad. Tornadus and Iron Hands. That's not bad. I don't mind uh, intimidating the Iron Hands turn one. So I'll take that all day. So he has Fake Out. He might just be faking out the... The what's it called? The Salamence. Or he could just be going for a Heavy Slam. It's really his option. Really his choice, to be honest with you. Because honestly, I might just go for Dueling Beat here. And at the same time, just like Terra Fairy. No, we're just going to say this, because if he switches into Grass Typing and he doesn't pick out, then we get off some big time damage. We'll really see what he wants to do. He's going to set up Tailwind. He's going for Heavy Slam. We know this is coming. We know this is coming. We should still be able to outspeed, and I think we should be able to get off a nice chunk of damage here. Maybe we should have Terrastalized, but can Dual Wing Beat finish this off? Can he finish this off Dual Wing Beat? I'm kind of hoping he can. And you're going to not be able to. But we're going to lose our Fluttermane here to Heavy Slam, right? Probably. Yes. So if I were to terrestrialize, we would, oh, you waited, you 
we survive. We survive. That's beautiful. That is beautiful that we survive there. We love it. So now I'm just gonna protect the Fluttermane here. I think he might hard swap the Iron Hands. I'm just gonna protect Fluttermane just so I can set up Tailwind on the other side and then kind of get going from there. So this is a withdrawal. Probably going for Bleak Wind Storm. We'll see who they want to go into. It's gonna be Chiyu. So Chiyu comes out here. Which I don't mind. So I was super excited to actually eat up that heavy slam. It was awesome. But if I would have just terrestrialized Fluttermane and attack like I did, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. So Bleak Wind Storm's gonna come out here. It is gonna land on my Salamence. Salamence took a lot of damage to that. No speed drop? Cool, no speed drop. It took a lot of damage to that. A bit too much damage. I don't like that. I don't like that. And now from here, we are just gonna double down at Chiyu. Could go for Icy Wind. It could also go for Shadow Ball, but I was gonna stick with a Moon Blast and just double down at Chiyu. I don't really think it protects, to be honest with you guys. So I'm just gonna double down into it and then have my back into the for later. It ends up withdrawing Chiyu. Who are you going into here? That's the real question. Sinister's gonna come out here. That's fine. So I get it with it. I can hit it with a dueling beat here. You get no value out of hospitality, and Sinister's just gonna die out here. Beautiful. So Sinister's dead. He's gonna, I'm gonna take some rock healing damage, and on top of that. Liquid Storm probably puts a double KO onto us, right? Unless you're missing an attack, which would be massive. Can you miss one? Can you miss a Liquid Storm here? Please and thank you. And miss one. Who dodged it? Alright, I think Fluttermane dodged it. No, Salamence dodged it. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with that. So now we're just going to go into... We know the Pokemon that he has. We know he has Chiyu. We know he has Iron Hands. And I really am curious to see who he goes into. But I kind of want to go into Pokemon with Protect here. Because if they're going for a Fake Out move, you can really just start getting after it, right? And yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to save... I'm going to save my... My King Gambit for the back end. So I'm going to go into Cornerstone Ogre Pond here. And they're going to go into Iron Hands. So they should have one turn left in Tailwind. And we should have two, correct? Yes. That is correct. But from here, this is just a simple double protect, right? This is a simple double protect. Because next turn, they'll be forced to use Tailwind. And then they can have speed for the rest of the game if they want. Which would be totally cool with me. And now the real question here to finish off this battle would be, who do I terrestrialize? Unless did I just terrestrialize Ogre Pond? I have a feeling I just did that. No, they're terrestrialized. So they're going to terrestrialize here. We're going to double protect. And we'll see what they're going to do. Oh, they're terrestrializing the Tornadus. It's a ghost. Okay. That's fine by me. That's definitely fine by me. So ghost type is going to come out here. And that, that's, that's fine by me. And I'm not sure if I should trash this over here. We know they have Chiyu in the back end, and we can pretty much just take it out. He's gonna fake out the Salamence. I would have expected the Ogre Pond to fake out, or him to uh, fake out the Ogre Pond, so I'm really glad I did a double, a double protect here. So now we have speed for this turn. Um, I think at this point we should just trash slice the Ogre Pond. Right? Because what type you got? You're straight dark. That's not bad. That's not bad. <clears throat> I know you got heat weave and all that stuff, but I think Ogre Pond can really just clean up this match. So from here, I'm just going to dual wing beat down the Iron Hands, finish that off. And I'm just going to Terrasize, and I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into this thing. Right? Ivy Cudgel should do more damage than this, right? Yeah, Ivy Cudgel does a bit more. Especially with the uh, Terror Boost. So I'm going to Terrasize here, put the mask on, and look to wrap up match number one. I do have King Gambit in the back end, but up against Shiyu, we're really not going to be doing much. I mean, Heat Wave can do a significant amount of damage. But at that point, I would probably just try to suck your punch and get off as much damage as you can. But in my thought process was just like, if I terrestrialize this Ogre Pond here, it could just kind of clean up this battle. So, we're going for the Ivy Cudgel. Can this just KO? Brings him down to one, which kind of sucks, but still, we're, we're rock type. We're rock type. He's really not doing that much damage to us. The dual wing beat comes out there, finishes off this Pokemon. He's now gonna go for a Bleak and Storm. And maybe Tailwind next turn. 
We'll see. Yeah, there's Bleak Windstorm. So Bleak Windstorm comes out here. And I am forced to bring out... You. Okay. So they have Chiyu. Can we double down on Chiyu at this point? I'm like, because Tornado's probably setting up a Tailwind, right? Most likely setting up a Tailwind here. But honestly, I might just protect you. I could go Sucker Punch here. But to be honest, I'm just going to go for an Assurance. And I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel. Sunny Day comes out here. Oh, no. Okay, we outspeed. Cool. Never mind, just GG's. I was gonna say, that could be bad. If Chiyu outspeeds us, that will KO the King Gamma do a ridiculous amount of damage to us. But everything works out. My Ogre Pond is outspeeding. We pick up the big fat KO. And then Assurance should come across here. Finish off match number one. We start off hot. We start off 1 0. Second match is on its way. Started off real hot with a big time victory in match number one. Looking to continue that and uh, win the second match right here. We're going up against Roaring Moon and Flutter main team with uh, Water Ogre Pond, Landorus, Heatran, and Rolu. So highly meta team right here. They have a lot of different meta Pokemon. I think from here, if they do have an Intimidate user like Blando, we might just want to lead King Gambit. I think King Gambit's not too shabby here. I also like Flutter main as a lead here, so I might just end up leading Flutter main. I'm gonna go Flutter Main on top of that. Do I go Salamence and try to get some speed? I do have Clear Amulet on it as well. Plus Intimidate could work pretty well. Yeah, I'm actually cool with that. I'm gonna go these two. Um, a Pokemon that I'm gonna have to watch out for is going to be... It's gonna be Heatran. Heatran kind of annoys me. I am gonna bring... A nice little Breloom in the back end. And then last but not least, either Ogre Pond or... Gambit and I'm kind of leaning towards Gambit just because this is nice steel typing to kind of counter Flutterbane Plus it has Sucker Punch could do some big time damage with a life orb. I like it. So we're gonna lock it in The seam looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a problem though. A little bit of an issue Real Boom's kind of tough to kind of get work done up against and then alongside of that Heatran is just topped Heatran is so good, especially with the grass terror type. It's just so perfect, right? It, re it really just gets work done, but I mean I have a fighting type with Reloom, which is pretty good for us. And I do have Mach Punch, so as long as it doesn't Terrasilize, we should be able to hit it pretty hard. But if it does Terrasilize, we can always do some work with, uh, with what's called, with our dual wing beat Salamence. So, we'll see. We shall see. I think they're going to lead probably like Warrior Moon or Rillaboom. I think one or the other is a pretty solid lead. But they're going to end up leading Fluttermane and... Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Because I got my own Fluttermane. I do have a Steel Terra, which I might just pop turn one. And we do get the Intimidate that point, which is pretty massive. It is pretty massive. Plus, we got the Booster Energy. Booster Energy. So, I'm going to Steel Terror here. I think that's going to be my point. I think I'm going to Steel Terror. We're both Protosynthesis popping. And his is going to be Speed as well. I think Flutter Main with the Speed uh, Booster Energy outspeeds that Salamence. Yeah, we should. 200 Speed. I think uh, Salamence goes at like 180, 190. But I think from here, do we Icy Wind for Speed Control, or do we just Moon Blast down? I think we just Moon Blast here. And then we Terrasilize and we just Iron Head. I think that's our play. I really do like that play. So we got the Steel Terror coming out here. We're going to Terrasilize early here. We do have a nice, little, lovely Intimidate on that Rolling Moon, so that's pretty big for us. And if anything, I think Flutter May would be going after my Salamence, so by Terrasilizing and Steel, that could be pretty good. I'm going to see a Terra pop out from him first time, and that's going to be Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon's going to come out here with the Poison Terra type. You little booger. Nice big time Poison Terra type coming out from him. Um, I mean, that's fine. We got the Steel Terra type popping. Like I said, we intimidated that turn one, so I don't think it's going to be able to one-shot us. I really don't. But we should be able to one-shot this Flutter Moon. No problem. All right, let's get cooking. Let's get rolling here. The Moonblast is going to fly through here, probably do like 9 damage, yeah, there's there's the 9 damage for you guys, and Tailwind's going to cook him from his Roaring Moon. Now he has a bit more speed control, hopefully he's going for a Moonblast into me, now he's just throwing 8 damage clean across the board, which is totally fine, I don't mind that. He gets a crit on my salad, it's lovely. But now Ironhead's going to come out here, and like I said, this should KO, right? Are you sashed? You're really sashed? This is how you're playing? You're sashed? Lovely. 
the focus sash is gonna come out here. Um, I could protect the Fluttermane here, and I am gonna protect the Fluttermane, and I'm just gonna go for a nice little big Tailwind just to match their speed. I really just want to match their speed. Because if I can get off Tailwind and have Fluttermane up on the board still, I can then Icy Wind, take out the Fluttermane, lower the speed of Salamence, and then start going after him. The knockoff's gonna come out here, do some nice damage, take off the clear on it, and you're gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Cool. Awesome. So, I keep all this. I like what we're saying. I like what we're saying. Because Fluttermane, my Fluttermane, should be fast as something. I think it already proved that it's fast as yeah, with no first turn priority moves on them, I can freely go in Icy Wind. And what should I go for here? What's going to do more damage? I think Iron Head might do more damage. 120, this would do 60, 60. They actually do both the same, but the accuracy is higher here. And we have a chance to flinch, so I think it's just a fair play for us to go into. They, they end up saving their Flutter Meme for late game. Actually, pretty smart move. They're going to end up going into Heat Train right here. So if Heatran comes out here, they cannot Terrasalize Heatran, which is actually really good to know. Actually helps us out later. So we'll drop the speed right here of you. And you actually outspeed us still. Boost energy doing us 30. And we're gonna actually be able to soak that up, which is great. We don't have clear ammo anymore, which kinda sucks, but still, I take this all day. Iron Head's gonna be cooking. How much damage is this gonna do? Not bad, I'll take that with B minus one on tax that. So from here, I'm going to actually launch a Shadow Ball into this slot. And do I swap you? Maybe go in the Breedling this turn? No, I think we just use you up. I think we just use you up. I think we just go for another Iron Head here. I think we just go for another Iron Head. So, he's going to end up protecting the Worm Moon, which is totally fine. I mean, we get off some Shadow Ball damage. I believe a Heat Wave's going to be flying here, right? Look for double KO. But I like the Shadow Ball damage we get off there. Iron Head's gonna get blocked, and they still have every Pokemon, but a lot of their Pokemon chunked up a lot of damage, so I like where we're sitting in the back of here. Heat Wave's gonna come through here. Fluttermane's actually able to eat, which is nice. And from here, we could just go into Breedling, right? I like going into Breedling. A little bit of Mach Punch action. They don't have Tailwind anymore. I could go into you. I like Breedling. So now the real question is... Do we double down the Heatran? I think that might be my play, to double down the Heatran here. But if he protects, it's kind of ugly. That should KO you, and I don't know if Mach Punch is going to KO you. I do have Tailwind. I could actually Spore the Heatran this turn. And I think that's going to be my play. I think that's going to be my play. We have Tailwind up, so we have a bit more speed control. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna end up Sporing Heatran. I'm going to use my Spore. I'm going to use my one Spore here. I'm going to Spore the Heatran. He can't Terrasalize. We should be able to just put him nicely to sleep. And I think this Shadow Ball should KO the Roar Moon. I really hope so. I really hope so. Shadow Ball should be able to do some nice damage onto the Roar Moon. So Heatran's going to end up protecting him. That's fine. That's fine. As long as the Shadow Ball can pick up KO, it's going to be a really good turn for us. And if it doesn't, it's going to be a bad turn for us. Okay, it does. Cool. Thank you, Fluttermane. You're the best. So Fluttermane, again, is still fastest on the field as long as they don't have any first turn priority. But Spore's gonna get blocked here. I wouldn't love for him not to protect there. And us get off a free Spore turn. So we'll see who they go out, out into. If they go into Fluttermane, I'm really cool with that. Because then I just Icy Wind and I Mach Bunch. Actually, I might just Spore again. Really depending on who they go into. Because Heatran is minus one on speed. But well, they're gonna end up going into you. Now, you are a problem. You're a problem. This Pokemon's a problem. He's a big time problem. Um, What's your Terra type? Ghost. Ooh. Do we wanna go into a Ghost Terra? Or do we wanna save our Terra for you? Heat Wave's a problem, but if I Terrasalize you here, that wouldn't be bad. I am just going to protect you. Now I'm just going to go for a Mach Punch here. Actually, I should Spore you first. I should really just Spore you this turn. I'm going to Spore Heat Train. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the Spore Pressure. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the Spore Pressure. He ends up withdrawing Heat Train, so Fluttermane's going to come out here. I'm going to put Fluttermane to sleep. And if I had to guess, they're probably going for Grass God here. Hopefully not a Fake Out. 
That'd be bad. That'd be bad if you're going for fake out here. I think you're going for grassy line. Cool. They definitely. Oh, what are you going for here? I'm a little confused because you did not attack yet. You go for knockoff. Okay. This is a good match. This is a real good matchup. Um, I could actually hard swap into you at this point. And then maybe just take out the Fluttermane. Yes. Yes. So we'll save our Fluttermane for the back. And this is a great match. This is a great matchup. Both sides battling back and forth here. Both sides battling back and forth here. He's going to go for the grass side, which we soak. That's a good swap for us. Real good swap for us. Fluttermane's going to be asleep. We're going to bullet seed it down. We're going to say night night to you. I'm very curious. Um, you still have our terror too. I think we're gonna have to try to slice our our what's it called here. I can gambit because I'm thinking of just mock punching the uh, the heat chain, and the heat chain might just protect here. The heat chain's here, and again, I think best bet would be. Oh wait, we don't have terra. Who do we use it on? Oh yeah, we use it on Salamence. Oh, that's rough. I think we double down the Salamence here. I think we do double down. Or not Salamence, Heat Train here. It could protect, but even if it does protect, we're still dealing so or they're not doing any crazy damage. I mean, yeah, it does protect. It hurts the soul, but I really have to get rid of Heat Train here. I had to really get rid of Heat Train here. Have to get rid of this thing, but what's Roman? Roman, you got stopping cancer from now. That could be an issue. You got terabytes, which shouldn't do that much damage, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So, as long as I just double down the heat chain, we should be fine. Sucker punch, mock punch should be able to KO, and we're wasting out terrain turns at the same time with two turns left. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So, sucker punch again into the heat train slot, mock punch again into the heat train slot. We're just gonna double down. We are doubling down. Once we get rid of Heatran, we should be. We should be pretty good. So there's a nice little mock punch. Mock punch almost KOing. And you have a berry. Ooh, that berry could clutch up. But I think, I think with this life orb sucker punch should be able to KO. It would be lovely. Go ahead. Beautiful. Heatran, get on out of here. Get on out of here. And that's gonna that's gonna give us match number two, pretty much. That's pretty much gonna give us match number two. Woodhammer's gonna fly through. You might be able to soak this, but you don't. That's fine. Because they have one more turn in the terrain left at this point. I think I just protect the Flutter main, have the terrain drop out, and then just attack with my uh with my King Gambit. Good old King Gambit. But yeah, Breelim definitely clutching up. We did not spore spam, we used one spore, and we put the Flutter main to sleep. And everything worked out perfectly. Everything worked out perfectly. So from here, um, Hmm. I think I'll just go for an Iron Head. And then again, just protect you until the terrain's gone. Because we really don't just want to take a grassy ride and lose a Pokemon for free. There's that protect. It's going to end up going for a Wood Hammer here. That's fine. I mean, you soak pretty well. That's a pretty solid read on the protect, but I just don't see you really KO my, uh, my King Gambit. Iron Head's going to come out of here, bring you down the one, and ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the game. That is going to be the game. So we'll just sucker punch, and on top of that, we will drop a nice, lovely Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, whatever we want, or even Icy Wind with KO at this point. And I think our opponent just cancels the match. Beautiful, lovely, awesome. Two and zero to get things started. There's the cancel of the battle. Final match coming at you guys, and we're two and zero, which means we're having fun in this third and final match. Doesn't matter if we win, doesn't matter if we lose. I would like to win, but hey. We're here making some good content for you guys, so hopefully you guys are enjoying. But we're going up against Shen Pao and Landers. They also have Iron Hands, Flutter Main, don't forget about Tornadus on every single team, and then Bax Cali of the Calibers. Love Bax Cali. Um, there was there has been no reason for us to actually use Slowbro in today's video. Like I mentioned in today's scene preview, it's a wild card Pokemon. It's in a very niche position, and we haven't really went up against any Trick Room. Pokemon. So from here, I think Intimidate Salamence just works wonders. They have a few physical attackers. It also has a clear amulet to dodge their Intimidate. So Salamence, you are going to be the lead. 
Second lead, I could go Cornerstone Ogre Pond. I don't mind him too much, especially up against a lot of them. But again, Intimidate could be a little bit of a problem, making me want to lead either Fluttermane or King Gambit. And I think at this point, I think Fluttermane would be a bit better because it could dodge Fake Out. And it also has the booster energy to give it a bit of a speed boost. So yeah, I like that. And then we're just going to go Gambit and Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Lock it in. Lock it in. Let's go. Let's go. So we used Breloom in once in today's video, which isn't bad. I mean, Breloom, great Pokemon. I love it all around. It was really strong in that last match. Had the Mach Punch, perfect counter to Heatran when it already uses its Terror type. Because it does outspeed it so you can sport it. And then at the same time, you got first turn priority Mach Punch for super effective damage. Especially with Technician Boost. Works wonders. So they're going to lead Fluttermane. They're going to lead Tornadus. Um, I think we just attack right here, right? I think we just terrestrialize we attack kind of kind of like what we did last time so yeah that's exactly what we do nice little terror blast into you and at this point we could just ice you in or i could just protect because there's a little problem here if they tailwind and then shadow ball me we're gonna take some big time damage so from here i'm just gonna protect i am just going to protect i mean i do have the boost strategy which is nice but if they, like I said, if they end up tailwinding and then shadow balling me, we just die. We just die. We will just die. That's no bueno. So I'm just going to try slide some nice little Salamence. Put on this lovely Steel Terror type, which works great up against both these Pokemon. And we're going to roll after it. There's Protect coming out from my lovely little Fluttermane. And here's the Tailwind. Go for Shadow Ball, please, and thank you. Or you could be going for Moonblast, but... No, you're going for Dazzle Wing. Totally fine. Totally fine. Seal Terror type working perfectly. And then we can set up Tailwind extra if we want. Wow, what's what's the the crit for? What is that for? <laughs> Doing half damage to my salvage. Get on out of here. Iron Head's gonna get cooked and it's just gonna finish this thing off. <laughs> Why did it take so much damage? Now it's got me sitting here like they can bring out another Pokemon to KO us here. Cause I really want to set up Tailwind this next turn. But I don't know if we can. We're down to half HP. Yeah, Iron Hand's gonna come out here. There's a lovely little Iron Hands. This is just a simple protect this turn. And we could Moonblast him down. Just chip up some damage. I'm not too worried about the... Uh... You could have Heavy Slam. But I'm not too worried about the Tornadus damage-wise. We have some great back-end Pokemon, so... I think just... Ooh, you could put Terra out here. Smart play. I think just going for Moonblast is fine. Nice Grass Terra comes out here. Um, do we have anything to kind of whip into that? I mean, our best bet would probably be King Gambit, but this thing can still chip up some nice damage. Weak Wind Storm going to come out here, and we're going to be able to soak that. The Flutterman with a nice little soak, Moonblast should be able to fly here, do some nice damage, and he goes for Heavy Sun. So yeah, we're gonna go for Tailwind this turn, and I think from here, we probably bring out Cornerstone, right? Yeah, I think we bring out Cornerstone here. I would love to dual wing beat, I really would. I really would love to dual wing beat, but I'm just gonna Tailwind here. And I'm just gonna go for Ivy Cudgel. Just look to rip up some damage here. So out comes the Bleak Wind Storm. I'm able to soak. Should be able to get off a KO here. Unless you're sashed. Nope, you're not sashed. Beautiful. And a Tailwind should come out here. So we're really hoping, really hoping he's going after Cornerstone Ogre Pond. But obviously he's definitely drain punching my Salamence, which would suck. Because I would love to just go Dual Wing Beat. Yeah, there's Drain Punch. <clears throat> so Drain Punch out and about, and this thing is just a problem. This little Pokemon's being a problem. It really is. It really is being a problem. So yeah, I, I probably should have the wing beat it this turn. I just said screw the speed. It just got after that. We probably should have done that, but depending on what their last Pokemon is, they probably have a lock it up. And it's gonna be Bax Caliber, and that's not too bad. That's not too bad because I could Iron Head this thing. Dream Punch can do some big damage. Onto both of us. I'm thinking Ivy Cudgel is going to be a play. And us just going for like. 
Honestly, I think we should just protect you. And then just Ivy Cudgel this, because I think Iron Hands will be going after King Gambit more than Ogre Pond, and then Ogre Pond should outspeed and just be able to KO the Max Caliber. Yeah, Ogre Pond's hitting like a truck right now. So if we, we got fingers crossed that he's going for Drain Punch into the King Gambit slot, which would be beautiful. And he is. So now this turns to a 2v1 situation. We can really start hitting. King Gambit might be able to soak up a Drain Punch, but it's getting real ugly. It's getting real ugly out here. So from here, I think we should look for the flinch more than anything. So I'm gonna go for Iron Head. And we could take off item, but most likely it's a Soul Fest. So I think we just go for big damage with Ivy Cudgel. A 2v1 coming out here. Big time protect from Doom. Can we get a crit here? Some nice damage, but not a crit. Iron Head's gonna get cooking here. And oh my lord, we leave him on one. We leave him on one. And we get the flinch though. GG's. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, we've been killing it on the rank ladder as of recently. 3 0 yet again in back to back videos. Maybe three videos in a row. I'm not too sure, but again, we're red hot. 3 0 record for you guys. Not one, not two, but three victories in today's video. Absolutely love this team so much. King Gambit was amazing. Fluttermain was awesome. Ogre Pond always doing its work with Ivy Cudgel. Then we had Breedloom and Salamence, two kind of off meta ish Pokemon. They don't get to see too much that we actually showcased today and did a lot of work with. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.